So you saw him get up and walk away after that fall? Oh yeah, like a walking, talking angel, man. And you describe him. <laughs> get out of here! You're wasting my time! Twenty people saw him, man. Not a single one can describe him apart from being bald with a tattoo on the back of his neck. You really think it's the hitman? I don't care if it's the fucking tooth fair, I'm gonna get him. Detective, this was left at the front desk. Kid said, give it to whoever's looking for the hitman. Exchange is set? Yes, sir. Blackwater Park. I've already assigned three teams for you. Good. We get the girl, make sure she's secure, then we take them all out and get our money back. Ransom is not in the agency budget this year. <laughs> May I ask where we're going, sir? Ah. Oh. Hope, South Dakota. <laughs> to watch the myth die. Sheriff Skirky. Blake Dexter probably put him in office in exchange for his loyalty. Dexter Industries, the Cougars, the police. Hope is a town under siege. Someone ought to clean the place up. But I am not that man. The girl is my only responsibility. Skirky holds her somewhere inside the courthouse, probably the basement prison cells. I need to get inside. Next matter of order, Dexter Industries versus Kevin Zimmerman, trespassing. Where's the prisoner, Sheriff? <clears throat> Your Honor, uh, the uh, prisoner had a uh, unfortunate accident in his cell this morning, and uh, he's on his way to the infirmary. Mm, I see. You think he'll pull through? <laughs> Not looking good. I, he fell pretty hard. <coughs> Case dismissed. Well, I think I'm gonna mosey on down to the jail and check on the jailbirds. All right, Your Honor. Where were we? People versus Timothy Hawk. Charged with breaking and entering, criminal mischief, destruction of private property. your chance to spout foolishness at the appropriate time. State? Your Honor, 
The state has videotaped evidence of the defendant caught in the act of most of the charges on this docket. We repeat our belief that the defendant is not mentally competent and ought to be removed immediately for comprehensive psychiatric evaluation. But, as Your Honor has already dismissed that request, we will continue to make our case. I've seen the documents. It's all in black and white, in English, French, Chinese, and Tex-Mex. Destroy the gnomes before it's too late. The UN won't stop until they can control all our brains! Simmer down, Mr. Hawk. You're charged with the destruction of 67 garden gnomes at Baldwin's Garden Shop. Baldwin's UN Mind Control Distribution Center, you mean? I'm fighting for all of us, don't you get it? State would like to repeat his request to get the defendant into psychiatric evaluation. I'm not crazy. It was the fall of the Seventh Empire. That's when the UN made its plan. And the gnomes have eyes. Those are the cameras. They have ears. Those are the microphones. They transmit and send signals to the towers. The, the relays, the, the satellites. That they, they have infrared cerebral wave monitors inside that can make you do things. They make you move. They make you think something you wouldn't normally think. Foil bounces the waves. I'm the only sane one here! Your Honor, if we can't get this lunatic into appropriate medical care, let's just review the videotaped evidence, huh? The legitimacy of which the defense has not disputed, so we can just confirm his guilt and go home. All right, let's watch some movies. Who's got the box? Yep, yeah, this fucking dinosaur. Yeah, it's all ready. You see? You see? That's the power of the UN. Order. Keep your hands where I can see them. We're going back to the courtroom. You will not speak to anyone or stop for any reason along the way. His honor is not a patient man. Glad to have you back. Take your place at the desk and let's wrap this thing up. A judge is given considerable latitude in sentencing cases such as this. Context is taken seriously. In all my years upon the bench, I don't believe I've ever sentenced a man to much more than the minimum sentence for the crimes of which this court has found you guilty. In your case, however, 
I'm availing myself of the opportunity to hand down the maximum penalty. Two years confinement in a state penitentiary, minus time served, and a fine of $10,000. Confinement to be served at Rapid City Minimum Unit. Done. Someone make the necessary arrangements and get this convict into a keep. You heard his honor. Get a move on. Let's go. Court will now take a 45-minute recess. Dumbass, I give up. When will you ever learn? Follow me. No, I should just give you your own goddamn key. That's what I should do. <laughs> well, I heard the judge finally gave you a real sentence. I've been telling you about this, you dumbass. One day you're just gonna cross the line. Now you're gonna be stuck in a cell with some big dick. <laughs> but don't you worry about that, my friend. Yeah, look at you. I almost feel sorry for you. Anyway, the place is locked down. Got some uh, disturbance going on, so... The good news for you is we got a nice cell away from the bad boys. For now. It's a goddamn Shangri-La compared to where you're gonna be spending the next two years. Hey there, Pecker Puller. An old friend just came back. You gonna say hello? What in the hell's wrong with you? Can't you see I'm reading my daytime stories? <laughs> daytime story, whatever. Just keep your head down and you'll be okay. Dumbass. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you too. No, I'm sorry, it's not PC. Happy holiday. Don't be too rough on him now, boys. Hey, dumbass. Sheriff Skirkin says hot. Hey, you can't do that. I'm sorry, Sheriff. It, it can wait. Shut up. Heard it. Visionary? Crack.
I remember when I was your age. God. I didn't know. There you go. Ho, ho, ho! Down for the count. Hop on a little extra just to make sure your cook feel good. Yeah, Dexter. Yeah, no problemo. Yeah, just some bald fuck. Told you I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping like a baby. <laughs> 